Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a long-awaited favorites. I haven't done a favorites in so long and I really wanted to share like what I've been loving with you guys. I've just decided to put together like my autumn or like my fall favorites because it's just been so long that there's no point in even doing a monthly one. Jumping right in, my first product was one that I have probably been loving the most and been using the least amount of time as well. So I've probably been only using this for about a week, but it has become my must have makeup product. And it is this palette. Whoa, that's really shiny. This is by Charlotte Tilbury and it's the Instant Eye Palette. I got this in my PO box and Sometimes things that are delivered to me in my PO box are hit or miss like some of them I just Really would never use and um, I end up giving to like my sister or my mom or Any other kind of like beauty loving people in my family or like friend group and This was one of those things that was a definite hit and I knew the minute I saw it actually I was like I have to have that because I'm such a palette girl like I don't ever buy individual eyeshadows I just like the look of palettes and something about them just like really excites me. The allure of like a nicely packaged makeup palette just always draws me in. So when I saw this I knew I was gonna love it straight away but then I opened it up and I just think this idea is so cool. I don't know how somebody else hasn't thought of this before but basically it gives you like a little sleeve and it gives you information on like when to use the different sets of eyeshadows. So they're broken into sets of three. So the first one, for example, is the day eye, this is the desk eye, the date eye, and the disco eye. Like, how cool is that? And of course, me being Little Miss Simple, I have just been sticking to the day eye. So these are the three colors that I have on today, and I've been wearing them for about a week, and I just love them. They are not super pigmented. They're a little bit lighter than the usual that I use, but I find that for these kinds of colors, like especially the day eye, that's better because you don't want to pile on, or at least I don't want to pile on too much eyeshadow because I feel like it actually ages you. So this is what my eyes look like right now. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but um, that's kind of a close up of what they look like. And of course I love it, it's a nude palette. I just think it's a really um, clever, idea and then in terms of makeup I think I mentioned this one in a Instagram I think it was an Instagram picture I may have mentioned it in a favorites before if I have I apologize but it's something that I've recently added to my like everyday look and I love it it is by benefit and it's the 3d brow tones and what it is is kind of like a highlighter for your brows. So I used it in shade two, which is pretty much the same shade as like, I would say the lighter tones of my hair. And what I do is I have a makeup tutorial on this too. So if you wanna check that out, just um, check out my last makeup tutorial that I've done. But what I do is I put a brow powder in a darker shade on my eyebrows and then I brush this through and the comb is like really, or the brush is really cool. So it has, if you'll be able to see, it has a, like a mascara brush, but then at the tip, it's kind of like a little bit different. So you can comb the tip through your eyebrows and you can actually kind of brush the hairs up slightly, which I've been loving lately. And this just adds so much more dimension to your brows. And it's something that you would never think about, like, or at least I had never thought of before. Um, it doesn't look too, obvious or scary either. It's very, very subtle um, and you can kind of work with it as much or as little as you want to. So I just think it's a really cool, like game-changing product to be honest. Then another benefit product that I've been loving and I've actually been getting a lot of questions about this is my mascara. I had been like a YSL girl for such a long time and then this was sent to me in my PO box and I love it. Actually, I don't think it was my P.O. box. I think it might have been just like a goodie bag or something from Benefit, but I do really love this and I've got so many compliments on it. Um, it's the Benefit Their Real Mascara and it just lengthens. This is actually a limited edition one with the cool like cap, but it just lengthens and 
volumizes at the same time but it lengthens a lot to the point where people have asked me if I'm wearing false lashes and I'm not it's just this eyeshadow um sorry this mascara what I really like about it though is the if you can see the tip of the brush is almost like a little ball shape and that makes it really easy to like get in onto the um lower lash line and um not lower lash line <laughs> the lower lashes and just get every single individual lash and i could spend hours on my mascara but i don't with this one because it's quite quick and it lengthens quite instantly but i could genuinely spend so long that's probably the step that takes me the longest i don't know why i'm just so anal about it like it has to be absolutely correct moving on to hair because i've been getting tons of questions about my hair mostly about the shampoo and conditioner that i use people have been asking me how i grew my hair what am i using to make it longer thicker fuller honestly i'm going to be completely honest with you guys um i do not think that the products that i'm using have anything to do with how my hair how fast my hair grows how healthy it grows or how thick it grows. I think those three things are honestly genetics. I've always had this kind of hair type. It just grows really fast um, ever since like a young age. So just to clarify, when I was like Amelia's age, my hair grew really slow. So I was bald until like the age of one or two and then it grew in quite thick but slow. Um, and then since probably about I want to say like seven or eight it's just grown like a weed um but it took a while to get there like as a baby and a small child it was always quite short and curly um it was very like amelia's but just white blonde <laughs> so if you can imagine amelia but with white blonde hair that was basically me but in my adulthood and like my teens and everything it's always been really really thick so i just don't think that that has anything to do with the products that i've been using um what i will say is that diet probably does come into play i have quite a balanced diet and i try and eat things that are both healthy and also like nutritious i eat everything but i just eat like a balance of everything if that makes sense i don't deprive myself i think that's probably one of the things that has to do with um good hair like healthy hair oh the other thing that i've been doing differently is since having a baby so since having alessia i've been taking my prenatals um but they're for breastfeeding mums so it's the pregnant care that i take and it's for breast feeding mothers and it's got an omega-3 tablet in there and then two like regular like multivitamin tablets and I do think that that has helped because I have had like hardly any hair loss and I think this time around is the only time that I have done this consistently for six months and I, I'm still continuing to do it I will probably do it for as long as I breastfeed for for as long as I breastfeed <laughs> Um, but I definitely think that's helped with the condition of my hair and that was really long-winded But I just wanted to clarify and I've also been getting it trimmed kind of like regularly ish about eight to ten weeks now that I've cleared that up I am loving this particular shampoo and conditioner and I think that it helps to make my hair look healthier and also more nourished because my hair is quite dry in type um, it, I only wash it twice a week I've said this before but it doesn't get greasy very easily so these are this is the shampoo and conditioner I've been using it's the Joyco K-Pack and it is to specifically to repair damage so I get my hair highlighted but it's not so much at the roots she does a little bit of root color at the front of my head but that's it the rest is all balayage well it is balayage but um that's the only place that i get the root color done the rest is all kind of like up the hair like this like little tiny pieces so i do need to be careful of damage because obviously when you bleach your hair color your hair it will be damaged so this is the shampoo and conditioner that my hairdresser recommends and that's why i started using it and i think it's been working really well for me i use the shampoo and the conditioner once a week and then i use the shampoo and the hair mask once a week as well so the other day that i washed my hair moving on to a hair oil and i love the oro fluido I think that's what it's called if not i just made up a word <laughs> uh hair oil that's my favorite one it smells divine i just absolutely love it but i ran out and then i had this in my cabinet and it is the kerastase elixir 
Ultime. <laughs> so it's basically the same. It's like a hair oil, but it's very, very lightweight. I've noticed it does not weigh my hair down at all. I put it in today and I mean, you couldn't tell that there's oil in dry hair. Like it just does not look oily at all. I do have dry hair, but then at the same time, some oil sometimes like with the Moroccan oil, you have to use a teeny tiny amount. Otherwise it can make your hair look greasy. But with this one, I think you can be more generous, but it kind of just, how I use it is in the ends and it kind of just gives it a little bit more like definition and um, it kind of like gives it a more hydrated effect without looking greasy. So I definitely love this. Next is uh, skincare. So skincare for me, um, my feet were awful. They were in awful condition. And I think it's because I hadn't got a pedicure, first of all, for a long time. So I left it probably a bit too long. And also I've been doing lots of running around after kids. So I'm kind of on my feet like all day, which is normal, but like, I don't know, maybe this contributes to it. I, I really have no idea. Um, but I just noticed that on one of my feet in particular, I had really cracked dry heels and they were just not pretty at all. And I really wanted to get rid of them. So I started using this, which I had a love-hate relationship with. I didn't love it last year when I bought it. I kind of tried it and then I just didn't like the way my feet felt afterwards, like on my sheets. Cause I always shower and then like, put on like all my moisturizers and creams and stuff before bed. And this stuff, it's the Burt's Bees Coconut Foot Cream. And it is so thick that I would put it on my feet and then slide into bed and I just felt like it was sticking to my sheets and it was like really sticky and clammy and I just did not like the feeling at all. So I gave up. I do love the smell, I will say that. It smells almost like pepperminty, but there's, I don't think there's peppermint in here. It's like um, coconut and lanolin and glycerin. So I revisited this because my heels were so dry and this is supposed to be amazing. But what I did differently was I put it all on, especially like I slathered it on my heels. Uh, also, I knew, I obviously knew that lanolin is amazing because it healed my cracked nipples and I use lanolin on my lips as well at night time so I knew that that ingredient was amazing so what I did differently was I slathered it on like all the dry areas and then I put on some fluffy socks on top of that and then went to bed when I woke up in the morning my feet were so much softer so much more um healthy looking and hydrated looking. I have since got a pedicure as well, so I obviously kind of took care of most of the dry skin, but I still get it, like I still get it if I don't look after my, my skin. So I've been using this every single night, putting on some fluffy socks, and it hasn't like irritated me at nighttime or anything um, because I've got the socks on. But then the next morning, they're completely dry and just feel so hydrated and my heels have been looking so much better. I recommend that you give this a try, but do bear in mind that you might want to wear socks. <laughs> Next thing is something that I also got in my PO box and it is amazing. I tried this and I knew I was gonna have to put it in a favorites video because this kind of blew me away. This is something unlike anything else I've ever tried. It is by the brand Bilu and it is their gentle cream foam so it's a foam lotion so basically it comes out it's that kind of a it's like a mousse it like looks like a hair mousse but it comes out like a foam or like a shaving foam and then you rub it into your skin and it dries instantly and if you hate that sticky feeling that you get after you put on moisturizers or if you're getting into bed or if you have to get dressed and you hate the feeling of it on your clothes, this is a must for you. And I think this is such a game changer. Like I honestly have feel like I've been looking for something like this my whole life. The best part about this though is the smell. It smells like cotton candy, well, candy floss, and it just smells amazing. It smells like a dessert and I love it. I love this stuff so much. Like when I get into bed, I'm just like, I feel like a treat. <laughs> I feel like a little snack. It says, smells just like a fluffy cloud of cotton candy, sweet and caramel, absolute heaven. So if you like sweet scents, you will adore this. But I think the best part about it is that it doesn't get your clothes like sticky feeling or it doesn't irritate you. Next thing is a toothpaste. And I found out about this 
from Iskra, who is on Instagram. She's also on YouTube, but um, actually I found it through a YouTube video that she had made, but Iskra Lawrence, I'll put her channel and like her details below, but she is amazing. I really, really love her. And she is a model and she was talking about what toothpastes are best for like whitening your teeth. This one was the one that she recommended and it's called Janina. You can get it on a Cado, so I just get it with my like weekly shop but it is definitely something that works uh, without being as harsh as like whitening strips. Cause at the moment I'm breastfeeding and I can't use any whitening strips. They do do a whitening strip as well as this um, toothpaste, <laughs> but I can't use them right now. Um, but this one does really work. And it says it's made with, papaya and pineapple. Last but not least, you know I had to include a food item in here. I haven't included a candle because I just haven't been into candles lately. And I'll tell you why. I am so hot all the time because of breastfeeding. So it's not something that comes into my, like candles for me is like a cozy thing, you know, like that you would do if you were trying to like, not that it's gonna keep you warm, but it's just, I associate it with like the colder months and coziness. Whereas right now I just don't feel like getting cozy at all. I feel like jumping into a, bath full of ice because I'm just sweating all the time um, and then also during my pregnancy I really went off heavily scented or like fragranced items and scented candles I just couldn't couldn't hack them anymore like couldn't stomach them anymore so I have I'm obviously not pregnant anymore but I have to kind of like revisit all of that because I just I threw away so much and I got rid of so much because I just everything was making me feel sick so I need to kind of like revisit that and find out and figure out what my favorites are because I don't know <laughs> these things you may have seen them in my what I ate Wednesdays but these are the nature's path organic gluten-free nice and knobbly granola bar <laughs> with dark chocolate chips so I think I've mentioned before the normal ones. I think they've stopped making them or at least they've stopped selling them on where I buy them, which is the Caddo. But thankfully they still make these, which are the dark chocolate chip ones. And I love them. These are like my afternoon snack most days and I look forward to it so much. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found this informative. Um, let me know what your favorites are for autumn or what products you think I would enjoy too. Like I would love to hear from you and I would love to hear about them. Let me know if you've tried any of these items, if you like them or if you do try them, let me know that as well. And um, let me know how you get on with them. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also check out my blog because I will have something up there, probably an outfit post and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.